It's about everything, everything. At what point, like in for your own personal life, your own friends and community, when did you get to know the hell of the last four or Um, I only realized the other day that I went to a, a mini protest outside my local TD's office two years ago, and I was given out about austerity. It's only on Facebook where the memories come up that, that I saw that, and I thought, oh. So two years ago, I was thinking about austerity. And then come last August, I started really questioning stuff. And the more the more I looked into things, the more angry I got, and the more I couldn't believe what was going on in this country. What makes you like Everything, the way that our government sold us out to, to uh, nationalise the banks and took on the debt that they didn't have to take on, you know. And, and it's like my children will be stuck with that debt from the year 2053. You know, and they have to pay back the bank and stuff, you know, the, the bailout and stuff, so... You just think we've been saddled for two generations? Yeah, well, we are, but we're, we're doing it to the next generation. They're, they're not going to have a hope in hell, you know? And in terms of what you have to live through, what people have to live through, uh, is there a second society that hasn't had to suffer, do you think, as much as others? Absolutely. Politicians, uh, the rich. Have you lost your respect for politics or for politics? Absolutely. Uh, you know, people that I would have voted for maybe four years ago, you know, I wouldn't give them the time of day now. You know, they lied. They told nothing but lies to get into power. And when I see the lies that they told to, to get in and then compared to what's going on today, it just makes me angry. How can we fix it? Do you think they're going to be sitting watching the nine o'clock news about this tonight? Uh, I'd say they might be watching the news. I'd say the government are intimidated by the water charge movement because they've never seen oh, anything. There was a bit of a beep there from the train. Do so okay. you think they're a little bit intimidated by it? Absolutely. I think the government are definitely intimidated. They've never seen a movement like this in this country. There's never been anything like this in my lifetime. It was literally the straw that broke the panel. Absolutely. You know, it's, it was too much. The water was too much. You know, people were, were suffering before they bought in the water charges. You know, a lot of people have lost jobs, a lot of people. I used to work for a builder, and I, I remember having to do up all of the redundancy packages for everyone in that firm. And it was sad because it, was, it, it wasn't one of these firms that, they weren't out to make loads of money. They were only a small-time family firm. They weren't a big property developer. And they were around for 30 years before the, 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 the crash in building. And then with the crash, that was it. It just wiped out everything, just wiped out the company. Um, Actually, my boss got cancer within a year and died from the stress of, of what was going on. How do we fix it? How do we fix it? Uh, we need to change the whole system. We need to look at what the TDs are being paid, the pensions that are being paid. We need to, to hire the taxes. We need to lower PRSI. We need to get rid of the USC. Yeah. It's not the stuff that a lot of people. A lot of people have yeah. five children, but they don't 